This video covers the setup and operation of the Roland MPX90 impact printer. Once the machine is removed from the box, we want to inventory our included items. Your machine includes AC cable, AC adapter, USB cable, flat table, center vise, brass practice plate, hex wrench, additional head caps, user's guide, and software CD-ROM. Next, we need to remove our shipping brackets. First thing we want to do is open the front cover of our unit. Next, we want to take our hex wrench and remove the head lock screw. Once we remove the head lock screw, we want to remove our carriage retaining brackets, which are blue in color. These brackets are located on the right and left side of the mechanism. Once the brackets are removed, they can be mounted on the rear of the machine for safekeeping. Please refer to the user's manual for detailed instructions. Next, we want to connect our MPX90 to our PC. Once the retaining brackets are removed from the machine, we want to connect our AC adapter cable as well as our USB cable to the unit. The connections are located on the right rear side of the machine. Next we will install the software and print driver for the MPX90. When you insert the CD-ROM, the Roland software package for Metaza should automatically launch. If the software does not, you can navigate to your CD-ROM and double-click on the menu.exe file. Once you have the software package up, we want to install Metaza Studio by clicking the install. When you get the user account control message, click yes, and this will prompt you through the Metaza Studio setup. Once the software is installed, click the finish button. The next application we're going to install is SF Edit 2. This is our single line font editor. This is useful for editing true type fonts to a single stroke font for data plate engraving or small engraving that requires very fine, small, detailed fonts. Again, when you get the user account control, click yes and follow the screen prompts to install the software. You can specify three fonts to automatically be generated into stroke fonts, or you can uncheck these to convert fonts later on. Once the fonts are created, we can click OK. The next thing we'll install is Dr. Engrave. Again, when you get the user account control, click yes and follow the screen prompts to install the software. Then we have our MPX90 Head Manager Utility. This utility is used for print head replacement and pin adjustment.
again, we will follow the screen prompts to install the software. Depending on the speed of your computer, this may take a few minutes. Lastly, we will install the Metaza driver. For your particular operating system, please refer to the README file for detailed instructions. This particular installation is being done on a Windows 7 platform. So to install the driver, we want to click on the install. When we get the account control message, we want to click yes. We want to click on install, ensure that the model is MPX90 and that the port is USB. Then we want to click on start. This will prepare to install the Windows print driver. Again, depending on the speed of your computer, this can take a few minutes. When you get the Windows security message, you want to click on install this driver anyway. Once completed, we can click on the finish button. And that completes our software installation. To complete the driver installation, we simply Power the MPX90 on and Windows 7 will install the device driver software automatically. Once the driver is complete, you will get a message saying that the software installed successfully. To verify that your driver installed correctly, you can click on Start, Devices and Printers, and your MPX90 should be listed as one of the devices. Setting up and printing a 30 by 49 millimeter pendant. We are now going to load our material into the machine. We want to power on the machine and allow it to initialize. This will take a few seconds. Once the machine is initialized, for this application, we will use the flat table for nose cone printing. We want to take the material and center it on the table within the grid pattern. Once you have it centered, you want to press down on the material slightly to make it stick and then place the table into the machine. Now we're ready to create and output our print data. To create our pendant, we need to go ahead and launch Metas Studio. Once we launch Metas a Studio, first thing we want to do is configure it. So we can go to File, Preferences. We can switch our units to millimeters since most pendants are in millimeters. Click OK. Click on File and Preferences again. And in the General tab, we can set our margin to one millimeter. For the colors, you can go in and customize the color of your table, background, and so forth. For the grid, for the line color, for the center line, I like to use red, and for the other line, I like to use white. This makes it easier to see on your screen. Now the software has material selections available to you, a circle, diamond, square, and tag. Uh, for this application, we're doing a 30 by 49 millimeter pendant. So we can use the built-in tag function or 
we can go to the Roland support website and download templates that we can import into our software. We can also download frames that we can also use in the software. So we're going to use the tag. We want to uncheck keep aspect, set the width to 30 and set the height to 49 and then click OK. This will give us our basic shape. Now I want to import a frame. To import the frame, I would simply click on the import button, locate the frames that I download from the Roland support site, and here is my frame listed in my import screen. I can import the frame and resize the frame. If I want to center it on my tag, I can right click and click move to center. Once I have the frame in position, I want to crop the frame using the crop image function to create my transparency. To create the transparency, once you've clicked on crop image, you can use any color for the transparent. Select the paint fill and set the approximate color fill to 200 and simply click within the frame and click OK. This creates the actual frame. Now, if you wanted to save this frame for future reference, you can click on library. You can add this frame to your library and you'll notice it adds it in and we can call it frame. You can give it a size or give it a unique name. Next, we're going to import our photo. The photo can be JPEG or BMP format. Once we have the image placed in, we can then take and resize the image to our liking. We can also crop the image by using the trim tool. So if I select the trim tool, I can go in and trim the actual picture down. Now if you notice the frame is on the opposite side of the image. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and right click on the image, click on layer, and send the image to the back. Once I've sent the image to the back, I can then go in and do my final edits on the image, resize, reposition, and so forth. Once I have the image resized, I can optimize the image for photo impact printing by right clicking on the image and clicking on optimize picture. What Dr. Metazo will do is it will adjust the image's brightness, contrast, and gamma to provide you the best adjustment for impact printing. Once we have the file configured and ready to go, we can click on File, Print Preview. In the Print Preview window, this will give us a WYSIWYG preview. What you see is what you get. We can specify the color of our image. We can also make some fine-tune adjustments if we need to. We can also resize our zoom to make it easier to see. Once the image is in preview mode, you want the image to be fairly bright. Once we're ready to print, we can simply click on print. This will bring up our print driver. We can go to our properties, specify the material type and the resolution, click OK, and then click OK to print.
Once the printing is complete, we can go ahead and pull the pendant off the table or pull the table out, and here we have the finished product. For more information about this and other Roland products, please visit www.rolanddga.com.